Hey, what's going on, guys? It is B. Avery here, and I want to thank you very much for tuning in with me again. It is the end of 2017, and so I am making my list. I just shot my top 10 worst of 2017. In this video right here, if you didn't see the thumbnail, if you didn't read the title, is my top 10 favorite movies of 2017. Now, <clears throat> let me explain something to you. The key word is I did say favorite. I do not mean best. To me, there is a difference between favorite and they mean and the difference between best. Favorite is a biased opinion. Best it has to do with quality. I will be making a top 10 best of 2017. That will be in a separate video. And so to me, like I said, favorite is my own personal opinion. It is my biased opinion. Okay. Best is what I consider to be Oscar worthy, where you actually are rating something on the quality. You know, the favorite, it, 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 I mean, the quality is still good, but, you know, it's just what you particularly like your bias take or whatever. Now, I'm going to do my favorite and best list. So there may be a couple of two or three movies that pop up on my favorite list and on my best list. I won't tell you that here because I don't want to ruin the surprise for my top 10 best, which I'll be posting after this. I'll, I'll tell you in that video. So I just want to make sure that we're clear here that this is my favorite. It is not the top 10 best. Best is quality, quality, Oscar worthy. Favorite is just, you know, what I have fun with, what I'll buy. And just because I think something is the best doesn't mean that I'm a bias. So if you know me, there's probably going to be a lot of comic book movies, things that I went to the movie to see two to three times in the theaters because I just liked it so much. So I don't want anybody in the comment section like, oh, what the hell? You thought that was the best? No, I didn't. I, I, I've been explaining it for three, two minutes now. But anyway, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into my list of top 10 favorite of 2000. And 17 and coming in at number one or well, this is really in no particular order is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I like this movie uh, even better than the first one because this one is funnier to me and I like the villain more in this uh, than uh, volume one. Uh, Ronan the Accuser was garbage. There were some things that they didn't explain to me in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 1, like how Peter Quill was able to hold the Power Stone. They explained it in this movie, but this movie was just hilarious. A lot of people don't like this movie. A lot of people were complaining about... Oh, I'm so sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. A lot of people... I'm trying to... I'm going to edit that out. A lot of people were complaining about the Sovereign, the gold people in this movie, but I thought they were fine. I thought they served their purpose. Um, I, this movie was not perfect, but I liked it a lot. I bought it on 4K. Um, and, you know, it's just one of my favorite of 2017. All right, guys. And the next one on the list, or I guess you can say number nine, is Spider-Man Homecoming. Got that on 4K as well. Spider-Man is my, like, out of uh, Marvel Entertainment, Spider-Man still to this day is my favorite character out of all of Marvel. I grew up. Um, with the Spider-Man animated TV show cartoon in the 90s. And uh, I just love Spider-Man. I, you know, biased. I, I love this movie. I still like Spider-Man 2 by Sam Raimi that came out in 2004, slightly better than this film. But this film, you know, I really did enjoy it. I had a lot of fun with it. I bought it. And uh, I mean, just, you know, to me, it was just one of my favorite of the year. I saw it multiple times in the theater. All right, coming in next at number eight, I guess you can say, is a Wonder Woman with Gal Gadot and Chris Pine in the uh, in World War One. Um, this movie was fantastic as well. Uh, really, this one I like this one better. Uh, like this one, I'm gonna say I like this one better. I like this one better than Spider-Man: Homecoming and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Um, this was freaking fantastic. I was so skeptical skeptical of Gal Gadot playing Wonder Woman um, in this movie. Um, because I, I, when they first cast her, I kept thinking to myself, okay, Fast Five, Fast and Furious Five. She was just too skinny in that role to be a strong Amazonian princess. I mean, she's still a little slim in this movie, but she has muscle. And, and she's a sexy, slim muscle. And, you know, she looks great in the role. She looks great in the movie. I really did enjoy it. I mean, the uh, the third act kind of fell apart a little bit for me. The villain wasn't the best that he could have been. I said in my review earlier this year that he was like... Um, what is Pee Wee Herman in armor? Uh, but I really did enjoy pretty much everything in this movie. Uh, the training sequences were fantastic. And so this is another favorite of mine, uh, biased opinion of mine in 2017. 
Now, a lot of you may not agree with me at all on this one, but I don't care because this is my list. And I really did enjoy this movie, even on top of how over the top crazy and silly it was. And that is Fast 8. Yes, Fast 8, um, part of the latest in the Fast and the Furious franchise directed by F. Gary Gray. Um, these movies are self-aware. They are def uh, the definition of a popcorn flick to where you don't take it seriously. Now, that doesn't mean that they just go over the top and ridiculous. I mean, the stunts they pull in this movie is still realistic in the universe that they've created. Not realistic in real life, but in the universe they created. And I really did enjoy this movie. I mean, the subway scene at the end was just, it was, it was ridiculous. But it was a fun ridiculous. And all the remote control cars and things like that. I mean, it's just kind of just like, hey, you know, in this world, you know, this thing type of thing exists. I didn't really like Fast 7. I know they had some issues with Paul Walker passing away. Rest in peace, my brother. Um, but they also had in that movie some things that didn't make any sense. That it had nothing to do with his passing. Before Fast 8, Fast 6 was my favorite. But I really did like uh, the Fast and the Furious 8 or Fate 8 or Furious 8 or whatever the hell um, it is called. Um, I, I was entertained by this movie. And I'm, I may watch it, you know, here within the next week. One of the movies I watched bringing in 2018. Um, this one right here may be a surprise to you guys. Um, but I really did enjoy this movie in the theater. It, it was a surprise to me. I went in with mediocre expectations. You should go back and check out my review. And that is Kong Score Island. Um, I think this is a very good Kong movie. I mean, this movie was like a true action adventure to me. Um, they kept elevating the scale and just the scope of the movie. Um, I remember just kind of squirming in my seat, just like, man, what's going to happen? They had so many creatures in this movie, so many bright colors. Kong wrecked the hell out of everybody. It was like one of the it was a perfect Kong movie to me. Um, you know, I grew up with Kong. Well, I don't want to say I, I wasn't alive in the ni early 1900s, of course, but I remember seeing all the black and white stuff when I was a little kid. I really did like the Kong movie that uh, Peter was it Peter Jackson. That, uh, that came out in 2005. But I, I, I mean, I really did enjoy this movie. I mean, I like the characters. Um, I like the, the creatures. I like the animals. I like everything they did in this movie. And it, it is a favorite of mine of 2017. Now, um, the next two movies, well, no, the next movie, um, it just came out in theaters. So I don't have a Blu-ray copy. It's still in theaters right now. I'm not going to hold up the paper, but it is The Greatest Showman. Um, with Hugh Jackman, the musical. Um, it, this was a beautiful movie to me. I love the singing. I love the dancing. There, w it, it wasn't perfect as far as the storytelling goes. And I'm, in my review, I remember talking about how there was a number of conflicts that happened between the characters that just kind of resolved off screen. And that kind of turned me off. But the, the, the original songs of this movie were fantastic. There was one song where the bearded lady was uh, singing. And I got a little emotional. You know what I'm saying? A little, little water dry, a little teary here and there or whatever. Because it, it just spoke to me personally. You know, and I love this movie. I, and also my review, I was saying that I didn't even know the words other than from the trailers of some of the songs and I wanted to sing along, but I didn't want to be disturbing everybody else. But you know, the greatest showman is one of my favorite of uh, 2017. All right. Coming in next. Was it? Uh, nine, eight. I guess it's number seven. It's in theaters right now as well. And that is Thor Ragnarok, man. This is like the best Thor movie out of all three. Um, it is the best. Um, I don't want to say the best comic book movie of 2017, but it's up there. Thor Ragnarok is my number uh, is my number five or film in the whole MCU. The movie was freaking hilarious. It wasn't perfect because they didn't still um, give a clear example of how Hulk got over into uh, Sakaar. I know he got there in the Quinjet, but just a random portal popped up on Earth or like. You know what happened? They could have. Did he fly in the space? And that was they. They could explain that or whatever. Um, but I really did enjoy Thor Ragnarok. I cannot wait to buy it on a 4K or Blu-ray to see all those colors and things like that. The soundtrack was great. Taka Watiti, you did a great job as the director, and so that's another favorite of mine of 2017. Now the next three are are very popular films. Um, oh, I was going to give away. No, I'm not going to say nothing. Um, if you watch my other video, you'll see why. But um, I really did enjoy this film right here. Another favorite of mine, and that is Get Out. Yeah, baby, Get Out. This is like you know, black people was all over this movie. <laughs> this show, like, man, you seen Get Out? Man, you need to go see Get Out like now. You know what I'm saying? That's what people were saying. I saw this multiple times in theaters. I remember uh, when this first came out on Blu-ray. 
um, I watched it like every day at home, like three days in a row. And then I watched it again, like with the commentary. And then I watched all the uh, like special features. And then I watched it again with all the commentary, too, because there was this this movie. It's just a good movie for everybody. But for black people, man, this right here just was like it was, um, you know, in a way, a wake up call because like whether you like it or not there's you know white supremacy does exist in not just country in this world and white supremacy controls all nine levels of activity look it up if you want to know what that is um and there are crazy people that will actually do this of course it's not going to be in the mainstream media but there's some crazy sick people in this movie but besides all that man the movie was it was just a great like you know you know thriller kind of horror suspense film you know all the other controversial stuff I was just talking about. I mean, this is just a great movie. Jordan Peele did a great job. Uh, I was so skeptical when the trailers was coming out for this movie. Just like, man, is it going to be good? You know, I don't know. But um, it was fantastic. I, I love this movie, you know. And for all the people, all the black people that are in a sunken place, get out the sunken place, man. Wake up. Come back to come back to the fam. You know, I'm just joking. But no, this is real talk. This is one of my uh, favorite movies of 2017. All right, next, um, I'm going to say this one for last. I got two left. The next one is by Edgar Wright, Baby Driver. Yeah, baby, Baby Driver. This is fantastic. This has Kevin Spacey in it as well. And um, Lily James, Isa Gonzalez, John Hamm, Jamie Foxx, and Angle Edgort. What's it? Ansel Elgort. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. But yeah, this one is fantastic. I love the soundtrack as well. The dude was driving the hell out of that car. It's just, you know, a fantastic movie. Um, I really did love it. It is a blast. Uh, realistic ending, too. Edgar Wright has a, a way of making unconventional endings in his films that you can't, you won't ever guess. Uh, he is the director of the Cornetto trilogy, which is Hot Fuzz at World's End and um, Hot Fuzz and World's End and uh, Shaun of the Dead. Uh, he also did Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. He's just a fantastic director and, and art tour. And last but not least, guys, one of my favorite movies of um, 2017, directed by James Mango, and that is Logan. Woo, man, this was a movie was off the chain. I remember just hopping back and forth in my seat in the movie. They like, hell yeah, give it to me. Ah, 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 Wolverine, the Logan. This movie was off the chain, and I loved it. I mean, this is like a love letter to, um, to X-Men fans, to Wolverine fans. This is possibly the best X-Men movie to date. If It's either this or um, or X-Men First Class or whatever. But I really did enjoy this film. Freaking fantastic. I mean, one of my favorite of 2017. So, guys, that is my list. So, we got The Greatest Showman. We got Thor Ragnarok. Um, we got uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Uh, we got Logan. We have Baby Driver. We got Get Out. We got Kong Skull Island. We got Fast and the Furious 8. Wonder Woman. And Spider-Man Homecoming. Again, guys, this is my favorite of 2017. This is not the best. This, these, I'm not saying that Well, some of these may be Oscar worthy. You know, you got to uh, watch my other video to find out. But I love these movies, guys. These are my favorite these are my favorite. These are my favorite. So, have you seen any of these movies? I mean, what did you think, guys? This is just my opinion. You know, let me know in the comment section below. Um, let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. And also, do you agree with me or you disagree with me? I kind of said that out of order. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you don't like the video, that's fine. Subscribe to my channel. Also, go to my website. Check me out there. Bookmark you. And also, look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff there in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my top 10 favorite of 2017. Next will be my next and last video of 2017 will be my top 10 best. But before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.